Like many couples, Mary and Phil Myers dreamed of having a baby. Unable to conceive on their own, the couple turned to in vitro fertilization, only to learn that Mary's body mass index stood in the way of their dream. And at the time we looked into the in vitro, it, we, I was 100, 110 pounds over. So I needed to lose 100 pounds before we could even consider and before we could even start the process. Mary was determined and with Phil at her side decided to explore weight loss surgery. I tried it all. There was nothing I hadn't tried. There's nothing that I could do. It, there's nothing that I could do. My body was not going to do it on its own. And this was my solution and this is this is my hopefully my hopefully my cure for the rest of my life from being obese. Mary had her surgery and within eight months had lost 110 pounds. I'm almost two years out now. I've lost approximately 130 pounds and uh, it's been a great, great time. <laughs> we are currently <laughs> uh, five and a half months pregnant. Uh, the in vitro worked the first round, the very first cycle. So we are now expecting one of each, a boy and a girl, <laughs> at the end of November. Everybody's healthy. Mary's excited that she'll have the energy to enjoy every moment. And Phil also has more energy these days. Because after watching Mary go through her successful weight loss surgery, Phil decided to follow in his wife's footsteps. Uh, I just had my one year anniversary. Uh, I've lost 100 pounds since uh, August 28th of last year. And boy, I tell you, it's, it's like a whole new person. You know, you, your mindset is completely different. You know, I was large all my life and, you know, now it's like rediscovering a whole new you, you know. With Phil's weight loss has come a solution to many medical problems, including sleep apnea, chronic gout, shortness of breath, and perhaps the most profound to Phil, a cure for his diabetes. And I was diabetic, no longer diabetic now. That's the cure for diabetes, folks. <laughs> uh, and the gout is gone. Haven't had a problem since the surgery. And it's, uh, I, you know, no more shortness of breath when you walk upstairs. It's amazing. We have shown that bariatric surgery, particularly gastric bypass, is able to afford remission of diabetes, particularly for those patients who, had, who have had the diabetes for less than five years. While Phil and Mary are thrilled with their weight loss and their improved health, they will also both be among the first to tell others that weight loss surgery is not an easy way out. It's not the easy way out. I've actually had one or two people who didn't know when I first started the process, who didn't know that I had the surgery, um, come up to me and say, are you sick? Because I had lost a lot of weight so quickly. And, you know, I explained, no, I work out a lot and I've, I've increased my protein. And I kind of left it at that because they weren't real good friends and I didn't care to tell anybody at that time. And so... I've also had people come up to me and say, well, at least you didn't do the gastric bypass. That's the easy way out. There is nothing easy about this decision. With the bypass, of course, you're limited to what you can eat, how much you can eat. Uh, so that, of course, that's the easy part. Uh, the hard part is, you know, you still have to count your calories. You have to look at the proteins on the, on the labels. You have to really school yourself or be schooled in what good nutrition is and what you're supposed to eat, what you're not supposed to eat. And, uh, you know, that was the hard part. That was a bit of a learning curve. But, uh, well, we are so glad we did it. <laughs> Our lives are completely different now. So much better. And both Mary and Phil say they could not have done it on their own. Agreed. Uh, the staff is fabulous, especially for me right now. Once we, once the in vitro worked and we knew we were pregnant, I talked to the doctor, I talked to the dietitian, um, spoke with everybody to find out what I needed to change to make sure that I was healthy and the kids were healthy and that this was going to be successful. And they were, I, I do have, I can call them at any time uh, and leave messages and somebody gets right back to me. Now I would say to anybody who's considering this, uh, 
you're going to have some second guessing. You're going to have days where you don't want to do this because you're afraid of the change because you don't know what's ahead. Um, I would say do it and don't look back because it is so worth it. Our lives are so much better. Our quality of life is so much more enhanced, you know, and I mean, look at it, we're going to have two kids now. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the greatest reward.